Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Transfer Story. I'm good, instead of doing just a video on who should sign for your club, it's all going to be involved with Transfer Stories from now on. And that way it gives you guys, you only have to watch one video instead of two on a day. And basically just makes it a bit easier for you guys. So, you know, if you do want to see a return of who should sign for your club, put it down in the comments below. And it might return in the near future, who knows. But anyway guys, there's a lot to talk about. I've got a few players to cover on I me, mean, more than six this time. So guys, you know what to do, go to it. I'll be fun if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first player I'm going to talk about, he's on my thumbnail, Dembele, off to United. Now, yet again, over the past 48 to 24 hours, I've seen mixed reports on Jaden Sancho's. There's been reports that the deal is still on for Jaden. There's been reports that they've agreed a deal. All I need to agree on is a fee. I've read reports you know, the deal's off completely, but Dembele could be a good replacement for Jaden. There might even be a miss Jaden this window, and then maybe next summer, maybe January, Jaden might come in to Manchester. But Dembele could be off to United. Now, me with Dembele is one of these players that really does, you know, have the game to play for United. If he is a replacement for Jaden, obviously I'll be really happy to see him hand the Premier League. But we've also got to remember that May Nile have just qualified for the top four as well. So, you know, for the first time in a long time, I think Savannah's first retired, retired about, what, nearly seven years ago, somewhere around there. So, United you know, have just qualified for the top four for the first time, as I said, since. since so Alex Ferguson retired. So with the likes of that happen, obviously they got to get back a top four team. Then Bele does come into the club. He is a left and a right wing. I say play on either side, but then Bele, I think he's a perf perfect replacement for Jaden Sancho. Or could we see Den Bele and Jaden Sancho in the main United shirt next season? Boy, if that does happen. We are looking forward to one good season in the Premier League with the likes of Dembele and Jaden Sancho, both in the main United shirt, along with Martial and Marcus Rashford and all the other United players, of course. Thomas Pierre, I'm probably mispronounced that last name somewhere across the line. Sorry if I have. You know, obviously, how I'm on about the pictures pop up on the screen anyway. I think I might have covered this once already in transfer stories, but it don't have been re uh, talked about. Thomas has got interest from Arsenal. Now, Arsenal have been linked with so many wingers, centre midfielders, players like that. So, Arsenal have been linked with so many players this, uh, uh, this window. The likes of Thomas coming into the Premier League. Obviously, with the likes of Meta Wurzel, contract slowly running out for Arsenal. I bet Ozil and Arsenal Football Club are one of them players that Ozil do want to leave, but obviously his salary cap is too high. Thomas is a defence midfielder, mainly position. Or we play centre midfield or right back position. So with the likes of that in mind about Thomas, you know, I think he will play in the centre. Been, as I said, linked with Arsenal and he does look like he could be on the move. But with the likes of Thomas could come in and refill that gap for, you know, Arsenal. Thomas playing the Premier League. Yet again, he'd be a great player that I like to see in the Premier League. This one, I really would like to see go through on the Arsenal point of view. As I've said, Arsenal are one of these teams that when I was a kid, I know it's a long time ago now and how times have changed, they were a top four side year in, year out. Proves how far the game's gone and it also proves how far Arsenal have dropped. But Thomas does look like he could be on his way to Arsenal. This transfer is really the one to watch out for. Thiago off to Liverpool. 
Now Tiago is a player I have talked about before in transfer stories, as you may know, but he really is keen to come to Liverpool. With the likes of Henderson, the Premier League title, Champions League title that he won last season, you know, things are looking up for Liverpool. Let's not, you know, so I know some of you fans will be slightly, you know, about Thiago. It could be a great move for Liverpool though. Let's not forget how well Klopp has done at Liverpool as well. But Thiago definitely does look off to Liverpool. This one could really help Liverpool next year and sorry this season with gaining the Premier League title as well. Bakayoko from Chelsea. Does it look like he will be off to AC Milan? AC Milan are really keen to sign him. And later on in this video, I will be talking about possible Chelsea incoming, which one lot of you fans will not be happy with. But let's talk about Bakayoko off to AC Milan. Off to Italy. Now, I very much say this when players come from La Liga or Holland or you know players come abroad uh, come from abroad to the Premier League and they just struggle to maintain that sort of stamina if you want to call it that or you know bit of skill that the English Premier League has but not too much of what they're used to. I never actually thought about it the other way around funny enough but I have started to now. Bakayoko to be in the Premier League, uh, sorry, to be out of the Premier League and join with AC Milan. That could be a great move for Bakayoko and AC Milan. Obviously, Bakayoko is really struggling to get to the Chelsea team as well at this present in time. And with the young philosophy that possibly Frank Lampard's going with, it could be a really good move for Bakayoko to leave Chelsea. I think I might have covered him once already in a previous video, I'm not quite too sure. Ryan Sessignol off to Newcastle. Ryan Sessignol is one of these players. I think he went to Fulham to Tottenham and then he went on loan to Fulham, I think. I think he went back to Fulham on loan. But he really has struggled to settle in at Tottenham. Really has struggled to get the game time at Tottenham. And with the likes of you know, the way Tottenham were going, Deli Ali, Harry Kane, the likes of Callum Wilson being lined up for, with uh, Tottenham as well. Ryan, I think it would be best to move on in my opinion, but you know, you can never say, they might call him back in about five years. I mean, if you look at, I'm trying to work out that it's been called Paul Pogba, the main United, he's one that just you know, came into my mind. He started off at United, I think, and then he went away. Uh, so Alex Ferguson sold him, I believe. And then I think it's Jose Mourinho brought him back into United. So you can never say never for Ryan at Tottenham, but he does look like he could be off for Newcastle for the time being, at least. I think it'd be a great move for Ryan. I know they've got the likes of Matt Ritchie up at Newcastle and Shelby and you know they've got some really good players up at Newcastle but I think the way that Newcastle philosophy works and the calibre of Newcastle I think Ryan Sessignor will fit that gap perfectly up at Newcastle. Now here's the replacement for Bakayoko. Declan Rice off to Chelsea. Now a formal bid has been made on you know what I've been reading about of a 50 million pound bid. Now, I can understand a lot of you saying, especially West Ham fans, saying Declan Rice is not for sale, Declan Rice is, you know, here to stay, Declan Rice is. But you've got to think of, especially the likes of Declan, you know, further his career. What have West Ham done in this window at this point in time? It, you know, it frustrates me a lot because. Obviously, the way last season ended up, I think West Ham stayed up by about, by about what, uh, five points. And for a West Ham team in their London Stadium, it's not good enough, is it really? I mean, they brought the uh, London Stadium in to help them in European football. 
and they seem to come further down than up. But I don't agree that the London Stadium should be used for football anyway. I've been up there a few times myself as a visiting supporter with Brighton played up there quite a few times. And there's no atmosphere. No matter how hard the West Ham fans try, you cannot get the atmosphere in the stadium. But you know, uh, West Ham won the bid for that and that sort of stuff. I think it's a 99 year lease when they signed it. I think it's got about 97, 96 years remaining. So West Ham got a long ride there. Also, if you're a West Ham fan, please tell me how you feel about the London Stadium. Would you rather West Ham build a whole new stadium or would you still prefer to be at Upton Park? Now, I've been to Upton Park once and just, yet yeah, again, a visiting supporter and I found a really nice ground as well. But that can be possible move off to Chelsea. Let me know what you think of all these transfers down in the comments below. Yet again another Chelsea one, Ben White. Ben White, Brighton player at this current minute as I'm recording this. But Ben White for me, you know, Leeds have been interested in him ever since we even before the transfer window opened, you know. But Ben White for me Going off to Chelsea, I think he would do well at Chelsea. I don't think, you know, calibre first team straight away. I do think probably a bench appearances to see how he gets on. But we've also got to remember with Chelsea, some of the, you know, players are leaving, the likes of Petro and players alike. So, Ben White, possibly off to Chelsea, possibly Leagues. Possibly stand up Brighton, a three-way tie for one player's name. Let me know what you think down in the comments below as well about this one. But yeah, off, you know, off to Chelsea. So that's what, you know, two players, two young players off to Chelsea this window could possibly be as well. And just a slight update on a video I have done on this channel. William a deal done at Arsenal. Now, I knew this one was going to, you know, mostly happen because he kept refusing a new contract. But, so, at, what I've been reading yesterday, what I've been reading and seeing, William done deal at Arsenal only a matter of time before he's him in an Arsenal shirt. So, Arsenal fans, please feel free to put in the comments below how you feel about William as well. But anyway, guys, as I've said already in this video, put down a comment below about all these transfers, possible transfers that could be happening in this window. Give us a big fun if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao.